Now we can go on to explore cost in more detail. To explain the cost of production, we use as our example a business called the Blacher Marker that makes garden ornaments. We're now going to construct a table showing various ways we can analyse cost. In the first column, we plot different levels of production. We'll call this total product, TP. That is the number of garden ornaments that are produced. It starts with zero production and then increases by increments of a thousand. In other words, one thousand, two thousand, three thousand, and so on. I'm here with Johan, the owner of Blacher Marker. Well, fixed cost is uh, the factory, the building, the land. We have to pay rent. Um, taxes to the municipality. To understand this better, we're going to separate the cost of production into fixed costs and variable costs. We'll first consider fixed costs. Fixed costs are those that the firm must pay, even if it produces no output. They're pretty constant. Independent of fluctuations in output. For instance, the blacker marker must pay the rent for the building, the municipal taxes, contractual payments for machines, interest on debt and vehicle finance, and so on. And it must pay these even if it's producing nothing. No matter how many or how few units they produce, these costs do not change, and that's why we call them fixed costs. Let's assume our fixed cost for this business is twenty thousand rand. Now that's indicated in column two. This cost doesn't change over the year, whether they're producing a hundred, a thousand, or ten thousand ornaments. We will now proceed to present this total fixed cost with the aid of a diagram. On the horizontal axis, we plot the total output: a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, six thousand, and seven thousand units. On the vertical axis, we plot the fixed cost, and for every level of output, the fixed cost is twenty thousand rand. By joining the points, we can represent fixed costs as a smooth horizontal curve. So that is total fixed costs. Now we must look at something called average fixed costs. Average fixed cost is the total fixed cost divided by the level of output. For a thousand units, it's twenty thousand rand divided by a thousand, giving you twenty rand. For two thousand units, it's twenty thousand rand divided by two thousand, giving you ten rand, and so on. These figures are given in column three. Now note how the average fixed cost decreases as the blacker marker produces more goods. While total fixed costs stay the same. Average fixed costs fall as production increases. Why does the average fixed cost keep dropping? Well, total fixed cost keeps getting divided by larger and larger numbers as production increases. In other words, the firm is spreading its fixed cost of twenty thousand rand over more and more units. As more ornaments are produced, the average fixed cost drops.